So in this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to find and select color palettes for websites and UI and UX design. So I'm on a website called Landbook and it pretty much has landing pages, portfolios, blogs and other page designs that you can use for inspiration. So if I scroll through here, what I can notice is that there's different colors, different layouts and things like that, right? So what I can actually do is pull some colors from some of these websites, right? So look at this cool website called Quarkly. I can click on this and then what I can do is actually use a screenshot tool, whatever you use, and I can actually grab the colors from this like this and I would pretty much import that into you know, Adobe XD or Illustrator, paste it in there and sort of draw colors from there. Before I go into there though, I can look around for different research and you know it's about experimentation and looking around right i'll do the same for dribble so when you go to dribble you can type in ui or ux or website or design and you get all these different websites like look at this amazing website it looks really really amazing it looks so beautiful and the way they mocked it up with the background as well just gives it that extra dimension and realism to it and they add a nice shadow and if i scroll down you can see there's a color palette here so once again, I could screenshot this color palette and I'm going to borrow that and copy that and put it into my design. And when you copy color palettes, it's totally fine as long as you adjust it based on your specific brief and client. There's no point in just copying and dumping the exact same colors. You want to tweak them a bit. You want to make sure that it aligns with your discovery and the research that you did with your client, right? So that's Dribble. Dribble has so many different examples. And you know, if you're, if you're struggling to find a, a color palette, you can really just you know look through these and get inspiration. Another few good sites is you got Cool Hue 2.0. The website is webcool.github, and it's got some nice gradients here. So it gives you the hex codes, which you can just copy and paste. You can also download the file there as well, and it'll give you a PNG. So I can drop this PNG into Adobe XD like this and it'll literally give me that um, gradient right there, super easy. So this is a nice site if you want gradients. And then you've got flaturicolors.com. This one doesn't have too many palettes, but it's got a nice extensive palette here. So you can see um, it's got different countries like Russian, Indian, Spanish, Swedish, Turkish, Aussie palette, which is cool. <laughs> they got like little emojis there. And you can like click on the palette and it will show you all these colors. And obviously I wouldn't use all of them, but I'll, I'll always try and look for a contrasting color, so a dark shade and a, and a light shade, right? So you can use some of these. I can click on it and it will copy that hex code. I can then go into Adobe XD and paste that hex code in and it should work. So you can see I've got this hex code now. So those are the few sites you can use if you're getting struggling to find some UI colors. And then once again, in Adobe XD, you can see here's an example of a recent client that I've been working with. You can see I always have one core color, which is like the brand color. It can be something saturated or bright. It doesn't have to be bright, but I try and keep it a core color. And then you want to have a contrasting dark color. So, you know, your blacks, your grays, something for the background for that contrast. And you don't always have to have um, a dark color in the back. You can have white if you want, but you want to make sure you have that contrast. So then from this, what I can actually do is start to draw some colors from here. So for example, what if I wanted to use this palette here? I'm going to um, extract this color. I'll find the hex code and then I want to make this color known. So then I can go in here and change it. I'm going to make this uh, I'll make this white for now. And then um, it made that rectangle. I don't know why I did that, which is cool. I'm going to grab these green colors as well. So. Um, I'll just get the eyedropper tool, select the color, this green color, and then what I can do is um, plus that color like this into my component section on the left. You can see um, my asset section, and then I can select this lighter blue color here, and I can plus that in. And I just I don't know why it's making the gray there, which is really cool. And then what I can do, I can just go in here and change the colors. In the text as well double click here select this and i can press the blue 
or the green, like whatever I'm feeling. And maybe I want this button to have that gradient with the green and the blue, right? So I'm gonna double, I'm gonna click on the button here, make sure that it's selected this square, because you can see this button is in a group. So I'm gonna select this square, I'm going to the right hand side, and I'm gonna click fill, right? Once I do that, you can see in my menu, there's a, there's a menu that says solid color. I wanna click on that and change it to linear gradient. This allows me to select two different colors now. So I'm gonna select this, you can see where this is. You can see I can move that around. I can select the other side. So you can select the left or the right side and I'm gonna make that uh, green. So you wanna choose the, you can see the hex code the he as well, you can change that. I'm just gonna click the eyedropper and select my color from over here. And then I'm gonna do the same for over here and select that. I'm gonna also go to my button and I can move the gradient as well. So I can put it on an angle or straight if I want. And now you can see my button has that cool color, which is awesome. So you can see just by extracting some colors from a few sides, we can start to you know change the game and make it look very interesting. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you wanna see some more UI UX type of tutorials i've been recently getting more into adobe xd it's pretty much like illustrator just a little bit different and i'm looking forward to designing so thanks so much guys hit the subscribe button remember to like this video it really helps me out i hope to see you in the next tutorial take it easy